This is Sarah Crampton at ActionRiderTac.com and I'm going to show you how to pull a horse's mane today so that it doesn't have a blunt look that looks like you have cut it with scissors. Because in the world of horses we just don't cut the mane with scissors. We pull it so the ends look more natural and I'm going to show you how. So let's get started. First you need to just comb the mane over so you know what length you've got. So I'm going to comb Hudson's mane. This is my thoroughbred cross Hudson. As you might imagine, horses aren't all that thrilled about having their hair pulled out. And some horses are more sensitive to it than others. So I have a little trick for that too. Some horses really don't care. It seems like their mane isn't, uh, their mane comes out easily and they just stand there chewing their hay or swatting flies and don't seem to mind. Hudson kind of minds a little bit, so I do a little bit of both. I pull and then I use a kind of a trimming tool, which I'll show you. This is a pulling comb. It's a nice short little comb. And it also is a great guide for how long you should pull the mane. And this comb happens to be about how long you want your mane. So let's see how long Hudson's is. I have just recently pulled it, so it's not too bad. But you can see that it's almost about the length of this pulling comb. And the reason we pull it up this short is it, um, the mane's out of our way of our reins, so it doesn't get caught in our reins when we're riding, especially jumping and being very active. And the other reason is when we go to a show and we want to braid the mane, we have it already at the right length for braiding. So, this is a short little pulling comb. And the way you pull the mane is you comb the mane over and you're looking for the long hairs because you want to shorten the mane a little bit and thin it out. So, and you just grab the long hairs. I'm going to push the rest of the mane out of the way, wrap it around the comb, and pull. And I've actually pulled the hair out by the roots, which Hudson doesn't seem to be too thrilled with. So I pull a little bit, and then I use another trimmer comb, too, to help me out. So I'll pull another one for you. He's not too thrilled about that. So I get away with some pulling with Hudson, and also I'll show you the uh, other trimmer comb too. So if your horse is like Hudson and he's not too thrilled about having his mane pulled, I can get away with um, pulling some of the hairs out, but um, it obviously makes him uncomfortable. So I also use a little um, grooming kit tool. And I actually don't even know where I bought this. It's called a quick trim kit. Sometimes you'll see them in real old shops or I haven't seen it lately in a tack shop. But um, what it is basically is, what, what tool you actually need is this kind of knife that has teeth. And this one's really old. In fact, it's not even sharp. It's kind of looking a little rusty. And this I've had for a million years. And I'll show you how to pull some of the hair out with this to get that nice um, natural look. And then I also recently found this one at a shop somewhere. And it's like a little trimming knife of some sort, but it also has the teeth. So that's what you're looking for. And what you can do is trim the hair if, um, without pulling it and still letting it look blunt so it doesn't look like you took a pair of scissors and just whacked it off. So first I'll comb the mane over to see what the long hairs are. And then, and since Hudson gets a little fussy, I'll just pull that up. He thinks I'm going to pull it, so he's kind of walking away. But once he realizes I'm just taking the trimming tool and cutting it there, he'll start to settle down, because I just pulled it a couple times, and he's not real thrilled with it. Another trick is to pull the mane after you've ridden them because the, uh, 
hair follicles and pores will be open and the hair will come out a little easier if you have to do a little pulling. But you can see he didn't really notice that and so I'll just find the long hair and then push the rest out of the way, wrap it around the little tool and pull. And if you take your time and you don't try to do it all in one day, sometimes I'll just pull a little bit up here one day and the next day pull a little bit in the middle and then a little bit at the end. So I'm not making him stand here to get his mane pulled for an hour. So that way you can get your mane all nice and trimmed up and about the length of your pulling comb and it looks very natural and Hudson looks neat and trim and shows off his beautiful neck. At Action Rider Tack, we'd love to answer any questions you might have about horses, tack, or any related subject. Please send us an email at info at actionridertack.com. Thank you.